What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup. You guys, I just took her masterclass and decided to film myself taking her masterclass so I could share as many tips and tricks with you guys as possible and really learn like how she created the products and how she intended people or intends people to use them and how she uses them on her celebrity clients. So I really wanted to learn all of that. My makeup turned out I feel like totally different than it normally does when I use her products because I used all of her techniques. So I thought that was really cool. There's some awesome, just like, I don't know, things I never thought of or just like new ways and applications of products that I wouldn't have normally done or known had I not taken the class that I share with you in this video. If you're thinking about buying some Charlotte products and you're not sure like how to use them or which ones you wanna get, or if you own Charlotte products already and you're like, I just wish I could use these better, then this video is gonna be for you. So if you are at all interested in Charlotte Tilbury Beauty, her makeup products, I think you'll really enjoy this video. If you want to see how I got this look right here, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm doing the masterclass right now. I'm going to try very hard to kind of share with you what I'm learning as I go. At the beginning of the class, she basically is doing all skincare. Like I feel like for the last 10, I'm sorry, my laptop's down there. That's why I looked down. But I feel like for the last 10 minutes, she's just been doing skincare and I don't have any Charlotte skincare. I went through all of it. I need to get a restock. So I just washed my face. I gave it like a good wash. I exfoliated yesterday. So I do have the magic lip oil. That is the first product that I'm gonna use of Charlotte's. See, it has like a ball there on the tip. really like the lip oil so far. It feels very nice. Now she's going on with Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is probably one of my favorite Charlotte products ever. I'm in the shade three. So I'm just blending this in now, but I love this product. Look at that glow immediately. It is so good. And she's basically saying there's no technique. I'm just using a standard foundation brush. Okay, now I'm gonna go on with the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. It looks like this. I love this foundation. She's applying it with a brush. So I'm just gonna keep it going with this brush. This is my Rare Beauty brush. And she's just saying like upward strokes. I'm a, it's a, this is a little light for me and it is so full coverage. So I'm gonna try not to use too much because I don't wanna look like washed out. So I probably only needed like one pump of this because my skin honestly looked really good even with just the Hollywood Flawless Filter on. But we're just gonna blend this out really good. She's saying the point or the goal of this foundation, how they developed it was for poreless, flawless skin. So that's kind of what she was hoping to achieve with this. And it's very long wear. It's like a 16 hour long wear foundation. So I'm just going over top with a little more flawless filter just to like balance everything a little bit more. And it just gives such a glow. It's so pretty. Okay, so I don't have her concealer. So I'm actually just using the excess of the foundation and I'm just gonna use my finger to tap that underneath and blend it out. And it's blending in and melting in really nicely. Obviously she's using the concealer right now, but I don't have it so I think this is gonna be fine all right next up we're going on oh look at this mirror inception right now this is the airbrush flawless finish they are just raving about it like this is the shade 2 medium Charlotte was basically just saying like she likes to use this not all over the face because she likes to keep the glow but she just kind of sets her face with this So you can see I am mattified for sure. I really like this product. I don't know if I've ever used this before. My skin is just a little dry. So I like, I want to be careful with powders. I don't want to put too much, but I still feel like I have a nice glow going. Okay, so now we're going on with the airbrush bronzer. I'm in the shade two. You guys see how pretty this is. It's such a good shade. So she is saying right now, like it's very important to just taking this product pretty high. You want to really sculpt your cheeks but yeah she's like you know make sure you're doing this pretty high so we can raise and like see the immediate lift on my face see how this side of my face looks and like pulled up immediately over this one so basically where i normally put my bronzer so i'm, I'm on a good track but 
what one thing she just said that I thought was really cool is that this bronzer has hyaluronic acid in it. So like it's gonna, I think that means it's gonna hydrate our skin, which is so cool. I think I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose because my nose is a little dry. I don't know if that's actually gonna like work, but I just think it is gorgeous and it gives me just like a beautiful tan, but very natural. Like my skin looks pretty amazing right now, I will say. She's also saying like, feel free to put it on your arms, on your chest. She is contouring the nose a little bit, so she's still in the bronzer and she's just doing a little bit underneath the nose and then right down on either side, like down the bridge of the nose. So this is exactly how I would normally contour, but they're talking a lot about how she really takes the time to skin prep and sculpt the face. And then adding on color is kind of just like the last step, but this is gonna give you a little bit of a nose lift. And then last for the nose contour, she's just doing a little bit right here to create this little ball so this should be lighter and then we're like darkening under here and then going across a little bit so just down either side under and over and that's how she contours the nose all right we moved on to brows i filled this one in on my own i don't have her brow pencil i honestly think i tried it and didn't love it and i ended up giving it away i can't get enough of the benefit brow products but i do love the clear brow gel so i just want to talk to you about what she shared as she's filling in her brows so the rule of thumb is to just do hold your brow product your brow, brow pencil and start it at the outside of your nose and hold it up and this is where your brow should actually start mine goes in way further than that but i feel like that makes my nose look smaller i don't know if that's true but technically they're supposed to start here and then if you go directly out this way this is where your arch should be this angle and then all the way out to the tip this is where they should end so you're using your nose like as your guide which i think is very cool and the way she filled her brows in she really just is doing like tiny hair like strokes like this which is usually like when i'm really doing my brows and caring how good they look and not just being like fast about it. Kind of start at the front and then pull them all the way over. I make sure that this line, like I know where my sparse areas are, so I make sure this line is extended and kind of curves the way I know it's supposed to. Fill that in and then I'll grab the spoolie end of my product and brush upward and brush inward and this kind of blends it together. I don't want it to look like I drew the hairs in, you know, you want to look like they're there. So a mix of like these tiny little strokes and then the spoolie is how I achieve that. So let's use the brow fix. I wanna show you guys. It is really nice. I will say like I'm a tough critic when it comes to brow products and this brow gel is really good. I feel like it looks like my brows are laminated. So you can kind of wear them up kind of, you know, wild if you want, or you can um, comb them down, but regardless, they're gonna just stay. Okay, they have moved on to eyeshadow. So, I want to use the, right here, the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. This is the palette that I always use from Charlotte. I think personally, if you're gonna invest in a Charlotte eye palette, this is the one to use. I have these ones as well. These are great because they're like four palettes in one. They're much more expensive, but they are like one, two, three, four palettes in one. Like she separates them. So these are all different looks, which I think is very cool. So if you're looking for like, a bundle of a bunch of different options. I like these, but I feel like my girls here, this is gonna be for you. You guys, if you watch my video, you see me talk about this. So I wanna show you how she uses this palette. You can see I use it all the time. It's kind of jacked up. Basically, they say for these quad palettes, you just wanna go clockwise. So one, two, three, four is the way they do it, which is slightly different than how I would normally do it. I believe the first one is supposed to be like a base. So I'm just gonna tap my brush in there and do this all over the lid. What I love about these palettes is they are so quick and easy to use. So you can see that gave me like a little bit of a glow and it kind of evened everything out. So next we have this like really pretty matte shade. This is like my favorite pink shade in any palette. I can't, I can't find anything better. And she put this just all over the lid. So it's just like this matte shade right on top of the lid. And I'm just like coating my lid with that and see that's giving me a little bit of color and a little bit of depth on the lid. Do the same thing on the other side. And then she also put this shade right underneath lower on the lower lash line. So let's do that. So just grabbing a slightly smaller brush and 
I'm gonna hit that on the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go down to the darker brown shade right here. And I'm gonna put this just in the crease, like right here. She said like, don't bring it in too far, just like right here. And she also flicks it out because she wants to create like this little bit of a cat eye to like pull the eye up. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna grab a smaller, more dense brush. We go like this, stay in that darker shade and just do that right on the lash line to create a little bit of like a thicker lash. Now we've used one, two, and three. We're gonna use this last shade, which she used with her finger. And she put this right on the center of the lid, which I usually put this in my inner corner, but I liked how this looked when she did it. She was like, this is just gonna open up and like brighten and make your eyes look bigger. So here and here. And she's like, I love to just use my fingers for this. It's a very interesting consistency, this shade. I think that's kind of the point. Like it's supposed to be this like almost not wet, but it's just like a totally different consistency than any other color in the palette. But isn't that pretty? I'm gonna use her Rock and Coal right here. This is probably my favorite eyeliner product ever. Like this is all I use when I use eyeliner. It's so easy to smudge out. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on the outer part of my lash line on both sides. And then I'm gonna smudge it out with my my brush you guys have probably seen me do this before but I just wanted to find the eyes a little bit more if you're looking for like a good smudgy eyeliner I love this product so much it's really easy to use you don't have to be like super precise with it so she was saying very much like always pull your eyeliner up and out you want to elongate the eyes time for mascara I absolutely adore this mascara this is the pillow talk here's what it looks like and let me show you the brush so it's very cool because, see the wand? The way you're supposed to use it is you're supposed to start here, like at the base and kind of wiggle it up and really coat like that bottom, like the closest part of your eyelash to your eye. You wanna coat that first to like thicken them up and then you flip it and use the other side and that's gonna be for the length. It's amazing. I love this mascara. I was honestly shocked when I used it because I was like, you know, I have my favorites and I'm just like, I am picky with mascaras, but this one is very cool. It works very well for my lashes. Like, do you guys see my lashes right now? It's wild. All right, now I can focus on you now that it's over. I tried to watch as much as I could and then like use these products as we're going and remember all the cool tips. So anyway, I honestly feel like my eyes do look different from using that eyeshadow palette. Like this, it looks very Charlotte Tilbury-esque. Like sometimes, you know, like you, if you've seen her work, you know, like if you go on her Instagram or you see any celebrities that she does, she has a very signature look and it's the way she uses her products. So. Obviously, like when I use her products, they're a little, like they look different because I use them in a different way. So that's why I like joining things like that because you get to understand like how she intended you to use her products and then you get to create the looks and they look much more like her work, you know what I mean? So I was saying like, I just feel like my eyes look different like in a good way, but like I love the shimmer. Do you know what I mean by that? Like it looks very Charlotte Tilbury to me, which I really like. Okay, the next thing she did, which I thought was interesting, was she went on with the Glowgasm and I got this in the shade Peach and I'm so excited to show you guys it because I put this on in my bridal shower video and my camera had died and I was like, I'm gonna save it for my Charlotte Tilbury video because I just wanted you guys to see, like give it its moment. So you just squeeze the top, let me show you the. So you squeeze the top and then the product comes out and she was like, it lays right on top of your makeup. It's not gonna mess up your foundation, which I thought was very cool. And I just like to put it on like that and then I will tap it in with my finger. So it stays. I would say work with it relatively quickly because it does not move, which I think is very cool. And this can be your blush and your highlight like all in one. You definitely don't need both. But she also goes in with a powder blush at the end, which I'll probably do just to like show you guys so I can show you as much as possible. But isn't that beautiful? She also put a little bit of this on her lips, which I thought was very cool. Let me put a little on my lips. So this is the Beauty Light Wand, and I think it's Peach Gasm. Yeah, so there's a few different shades of this. It's basically a, like a liquid highlight. It is stunning. It really is so pretty. But I will say, like, if you're watching this video and this product sold out and you feel discouraged, because I know that's so annoying, or especially when you're trying to like follow a tutorial and you don't have all the products, this product is, to me, like, I love the Hollywood Flawless Filter 
so much more and it's way more versatile and multi-use and like gives you that overall glow yes it's not a color so it's not gonna give you like a blush but her powder blushes are so good that i feel like just get one of her powder blushes and you're good i think she did lipstick next i actually really like how this look is turning out what do you guys think so far i'm into it she mentioned that she likes to do lips last because no i think she does blush last and she did lips first and she was like i know how much blush to put on based on the lip that i end up doing which i thought was interesting let's do pillow talk it's like the most popular for a reason when she was applying her lip liner she was like you want to smile like this or like kind of like this and follow your natural lip line but cheat a little bit and that's kind of the point of the product it's supposed to just make your lips look bigger it's not supposed to look like you overlined your lips she did this side like this she said smile like this so you're gonna look really cute like that and then follow the lip line but bring it i'm gonna bring it up a little bit higher do you see the difference it's honestly amazing how much bigger you can make your lips look just by using this lip liner look at this side compared to this side. This color is really meant to be pretty universal. Like I said, it's just meant to look like your lip color, but you know, better, a little more pink, and you can use it to just like cheat basically. So let's do the same thing on the other side. So if you watch my channel, you know my lips are slightly uneven as it is. So I'm just trying to even things out and make sure that the shape is the same, but I think that's looking pretty good. So there's the lip liner on. And then I have a Pillow Talk lipstick right here. So I'm gonna use this so I can show you guys this as well. There's the shade. You can see it matches the lip liner perfectly. It glides right on. Her lip products, both lipsticks and lip liners are some of my favorites. I don't need much of that all, at all. Two little swipes and the lips are done. And it's such a beautiful satiny finish. What do you guys think about that? I think that's so pretty. And it completely matches the eye. Like the exact tone of the eye I would want. All right, and then she did blush last. She didn't use this on the masterclass, but I'm gonna use the magic powder. Okay, so this powder, it's very cool because it has like this perforated side. You get the product out and then you can turn this little wheel and it just makes it not messy, which I think is really nice. So I have it open. I'm gonna put a little in the lid and then I'll close the lid. So now none of that product is gonna come out, which is just very nice. So I just wanna set my under, or brighten up my under eye a little bit because I didn't use that concealer. So I feel like that looks better. Like, I just like when my under eye is a little bit brighter. Okay, last thing she did was blush. So here are the blushes right here. These are the Swish and Pop. Ecstasy, Sex on Fire. Okay, so I think it makes more sense to do Ecstasy because it's like more in the color range of the look. And she said it's like you, you're supposed to swish and pop. Like they're two different shapes. So you're supposed to use it that way. So you just swish it around and then pop. And then she likes to do her blush kind of high up. Really quick, I'm just gonna pop on a little bit more bronzer with a fluffy, a bigger fluffy brush because I love this bronzer so much. And I just think it gives you like the most beautiful tan and I'm a teeny bit more pink than I wanna be. I just wanna be like a little more tan. All right, so here's the final look. What do you guys think? I think it is really, really pretty. It's slightly different than what I normally do. And like I was telling you guys, it feels very Charlotte. It feels very her technique. I love learning like how she created the products and then how she uses them because it just makes, I don't know, I think it just makes everything look even better. But I think this is so, so pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did. If you want more Charlotte videos, I have all the products so I can absolutely do more in depth or just maybe like my Charlotte favorites, like the, maybe my top five that I pick if you were gonna buy any, cause I know they are a little pricey, but her products really are amazing. There, this is probably the first, like I guess you can call it luxury makeup brand that I fell in love with. I have been using her products for years and I, I really do love them. I, I, I get that they're pricey, but I think a lot of them are worth it and they last you a long time. Good ingredients. And you, I just never feel overdone when I use them. I just feel like very glowy, very fresh, but definitely glam, you know? It's not like an everyday makeup look. This is gonna take you a little bit of time, but but again, I think it's just really pretty and nice. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Give it, give this video a thumbs up if you did. I will see you next time. Bye.